I knew we could do it. Hi. Who are you? What is it? But I ain't never met any witches. How would they know about me? I need something, fast. Lyra, please. The Master's guests will be arriving soon. I know. Lord Asriel is making a presentation to the scholars. Lord Asriel has returned. I wish I could listen in on some of the stories, but I'm so busy. You have so much to do. That's not fair. I know. I could help. You know young ladies aren't allowed inside there. If the master needed your help, he would have told the butler to open the door. Now scoot! I need something. Fast. Pardon me, Master. Lyra, shouldn't you be getting cleaned up? Where's Mrs. Lonsdale? Mrs. Lonsdale said there was an important guest coming and sent me down to see if I could be of any help. That's kind of you, dear. But I'm preparing for a meeting with your uncle. He's returned from the north, and I fear he's in a bit of an aggressive mood.
I was out on, um, I mean, I remembered my uncle likes a special kind of, um, maybe you should get him some. In fact, that's not a bad idea. I'll have a bottle of Toke sent straight to Lord Azeril's quarters. Thank you, Lyra. Lyra, would you like me to tell your future? I'd love it. Yes, please. I see you taking this and running along upstairs so we can get our work done. Lyra, I'm sorry, but we must be quick. I have business to attend to. What you said earlier, about the witches, and about me being important. Can you tell me more? Young lady, that's a much more involved conversation than we could have now. Have you seen your uncle yet? I haven't seen him anywhere, but I'm sure he'll come see me after he speaks with the master. Don't worry, child. I doubt he'll keep you waiting too much longer. In the meantime, perhaps this will tide you over. Six cases of toke. Hello there, Lyra. Any interesting gossip to share? Of course. Did you know that the Master's special visitor tonight is actually my Uncle Asriel? Oh, excellent! The kitchen staff will be interested to hear that. Thank you! Let's see. What do we have here? Oh, the grand old Duke of York. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. Be careful, Lyra. I hear the gobblers are luring children away with gold. I've been looking all over for you. Do you have the key to the retiring room? The steward will probably be at the station. We need to get him away from that bottle of pan. Well, there is that pitcher of water over his... Why am I giving you these ideas?
with a pitcher of water up there. I mean, just waiting to fall down on someone. As much as I don't like this, I must admit it's working out rather well. Now we just need the butler to take it into the retiring room. Might as well finish what we started. Let's go talk to the butler. Did you see where the steward went? I most certainly did not. And what do you need him for anyway? He was supposed to serve a special bottle to my uncle, but you wouldn't be interested. The brigand! It's my job to prepare any special arrangements for the guests. Toke is my uncle's favourite, and the steward didn't finish pouring it or anything. He just left it in the serving station. Toke, you say? I do remember Lord Asriel being very fond of that label. It would be a shame to make him wait for it. That was the other problem. The steward was going to take the bottle up to my uncle Asriel's room, but he won't be back in his room until later. Yes, indeed. That fool steward. I'll show him. So, my dear, do you know where the toke should be delivered? What if it was waiting for him in the retiring room? I bet he'd like to have it during the meeting. Yes, the retiring room. It would be much better if the toke were waiting for Lord Asriel there. Thank you, Lyra. You've helped me a great deal. <laughs> 